Division I schools have been recruiting Lipsick's Gavin Cup since his sophomore year. The 6'5", 280-pound lineman had an up-and-down summer while deciding where he would play college football. After originally verbaling to Michigan State, the final decision came on August 4th with a commitment to Ohio State. And this week's OIO Prep Profile highlights the future Buckeye. You know, I committed to Michigan State in May. Um, at the time, it was a very great decision. Um, you know, things happened throughout the summer um, that I had no idea was coming, and um, things happened for a reason, and I'm, you know, I'm excited to be a Buckeye. The path from MSU to OSU was facilitated by Cup attending Ohio State's Friday Night Lights Camp in July. That led Michigan State to rescind its offer, which took Gavin by surprise. I had no idea that would happen. Um, I went to work out and compete against the best, and there was no intention to anything happening. There was a reason behind everything, and uh, it's what's supposed to happen, I guess. I like a huge Ohio State fan and, you know, excited to be a part of the tradition and culture there. It all worked out in the end, and Gavin has earned it, too, combining his intense work ethic with his natural abilities. The thing that really stood out uh, when I first started being around him in the football sense was his technique in terms of his bend, uh, his hand placement, his punch, mixing the athleticism with how big he is. And when you get, he's technically sound and he moves that well, that's what makes him so good. It's part of being a Buckeye is, you know, you have to be better than everybody else. So, you know, there's a lot of proving myself week after week and summer after summer. And, you know, they want to see you go against the best and dominate against the best. And you know, that's the thing when you're with them, you know, they recruit nationally. And so, you know, they get, the they get to pick the best out. And when you get to, you know, wow them, it's a pretty crazy feeling. With all the attention he got early on, could have got to his head. But he's uh, been great in terms of being coachable. Uh, he wants to get better. You know, so he's handled this process well and kind of separated it from the playing. Uh, so he definitely has his head on straight. That positive attitude comes from his family and his time at Lipsick. A leader on and off the field, Cup's days as a Viking have prepared him well for the future. You know, I grew up wanting to play on that field right over there. You know, ever since I was little, I want to be a Lipsick Viking. Um, you know, I just want to take this, you know, take it in for it is. There's not much time left and um, enjoy senior year. You know, enjoy with the guys I've been with my entire life and have a blast. He knows he's got a tremendous challenge in front of him. Uh, you know, he's going to be competing with some of the best players in the country, but he also knows he has one of the best coaching staffs in the country. Uh, coach Warner's been uh, one of the, the assistant coach of the year the last two years and has done great things with their linemen and got him the NFL. So, you know, he's driven to get better, and he knows he's going to have to go in and earn his spot, uh, but he's definitely ready for the challenge. In Lipsick, I'm Matt Finkel for the Sports Report.